welcome back to my channel. Happy Terror Tuesday. Today's video is actually one that I'm really excited about. It has officially been one year that I've lived in my home from the time that I bought it and now things are very, very different in here. It looks like a totally different place. So I thought for today's video, I would take you through the, you know, before when I bought it and what it looked like and all the renovations I've done to get to this point. I get so many requests to do a home tour and while well, I really, really want to do one and I definitely plan on doing one, my place is not yet complete. There are still renovations that I want to do before doing a full completed house tour. So if you're new to my channel and to following me, you may not have seen what my place looked like when I first bought it. So I figure we'll start there. Also, let's just touch on for half a second the fact that I chopped my hair. It might not be super dramatic for you guys, but for me, three inches is a lot of hair to cut off that I spontaneously did. I will link the vlog down below where I decided to cut it. I'm just the kind of person where if I get an idea in my head, like it has to be done immediately. And that's, that's how I ended up. To this point. I have a ton more planned for my place, so definitely subscribe so you can keep up with the renovations I am planning. Actually, I'm starting the next renovation in like a week, so definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on one of the biggest ones that I'm gonna be doing in here. Before I show you guys what I have done, let me just show you where we started. Started from the bottom. Now here. <laughs> so this was my place when I first moved in. I really loved it from the get-go. When I saw the listing online, I was like, this is my place. Something about it, I just, I really had a good visual of what it could be and that's what sold me on it. I live in Los Angeles and housing here is so unbelievably expensive. And I knew for what I could afford, I wasn't gonna get like a super renovated place. And I had come to that conclusion and I was okay with it. And I knew I was going to have to put work and money into a place if I wanted it to be exactly like my Pinterest boards. But something about that was really exciting because I've never tried, I've never done anything like this. This is all brand new renovations. I am learning as I go and it's been a really cool learning experience. So starting with the kitchen, it was so outdated. It was very fine. I liked the size of it. It went back and has like a separate pantry back there, but I really didn't love the color of the cabinets. Just, I always envisioned a beautiful white kitchen in my home. So we would redo all of this. We would be doing these all white with like a shaker. I'll show you a photo right now of kind of what I'm going for. And I've never had that ever in all of my apartments. I always had dark cabinets, which like never bothered me. I was always fine with them, but my dream was always like a white kitchen. This is gonna look so incredible. I just can't wait to get started on it. Did not like the countertops. They were granite, which was expensive and people were like, oh my God, how could you rip up granite? But it's just a little more outdated. So I knew that the kitchen needed to be redone pretty quickly, especially because I do a lot of my vlogging in the kitchen. Also renovating a kitchen is one of the quickest ways to add value to your home. It also had this like super big, weird light fixture in the ceiling. We're gonna get rid of this. This is like so old and it makes it so yellow in here. So we're going to fill that in and then do recess lighting. I really didn't like it. It was like fluorescent lighting, not cute, not good. And then the flooring. So the floors in my place, the lower level was all like an engineered hardwood. This was also a little bit outdated. The planks were pretty thin and also in between the planks they were like these really deep grooves and in those grooves it was like disgusting like I spent hours and hours and hours scrubbing each individual groove in between every single plank because of how dirty it was it was like kind of disgusting besides that the color of them were like fine they were just a little bit more yellow than I would have liked but it wasn't anything major but the upstairs was fully carpeted the stairs and up all carpet everywhere cannot wait to get rid of these carpets I hate them. I want wood floors up here. I mean, like, they're disgusting. I just, I don't know. This will all be a nice, like, light wood, and I'm so excited. And I definitely knew that I wanted to rip out the carpet. It was so gross and stained and just nasty. A lot of people suggested that I just do the floors upstairs because the ones down here were totally fine, but obviously I wanted them to match, so I had to redo the floors everywhere. And then my patio outside, it was, it's come a long way. So when I first moved in, it had like these older planters. It was very like rock outside looking, I, I don't know how to describe but you can see what it looks like. And I had this amazing pink tree. I don't remember what it's called, but I loved this tree. When I toured it, I was like, oh my God, this tree is everything. Adult things. I would never have thought that I would ever be excited about a tree, but here I am. The ground was pretty patchy though, and the paint was chipping. Like there, it, it just needed a little bit of help, but I didn't really know where I was gonna go with the patio. And that made a major, major transformation. So what I've done since moving in. So obviously we talked about the kitchen. I, that had to go, I just need to go. One demo day down. Let's take a little look. Oh my God. But a kitchen remodel is very, very expensive. So I wanted to do it in 
a cheaper version. I just bought the place and I really didn't want to do like a $50,000 renovation in my kitchen. So what I did was I actually just refaced the cabinets. It's a lot cheaper because they just take off the doors basically and they replace them with whatever doors you want. Either this one or this one that I'm thinking of, like. And the drawers were also replaced completely. So basically you keep the base of everything. Obviously if I wanted to move anything around or break down a wall, it would have been a much bigger job. But they just replaced the doors and I picked out the countertops that I wanted. I got a quartz countertop. I'm liking this one. This marble's nice. Oh, here's sink options. And here is the countertop. Okay, oh my god. I think it looks so good. It looks like marble, but marble is much more expensive. Quartz is a solid, solid option. But I found it really hard to do because there's so many different marble looking quartz countertops and the veining is different in all of them. So it took me a while to actually make a decision on what I wanted. Same goes for the backsplash. That took me a while to figure out what I wanted and I I sometimes think that I want to do different backsplash now. I don't know. It's not It's not really on my list, but I may eventually do that. We also got rid of the big overhead thing. They filled in the hole. They put in six lights, and then also they're going to put one right over here. And then I also put in, actually my dad put in, I'm not taking credit for this. This was all his idea to put in under cabinet lighting. He just got these little LED strips on Amazon. I'll have some linked down below. I'll link whatever I can down below from what, my, what I have in here. And it's on a sensor, so actually it's off in the morning, and then when I walk into the kitchen, the under cabinet lighting turns on when I walk in. Very cool. So that was like a couple of months after moving in here. And then in December, I made the move to redo the floors. This was a very big job. It took a few weeks, I think. So we started with the downstairs flooring. And as every plank went in, like you could just start to see it getting more modern in here, like plank by plank. It was just looking newer and newer and nicer. We didn't go into the bathroom because I want to do tile in here and I just haven't picked the right one yet. So you can see the old floors versus the new floors. The wood that I got is an engineered hardwood. It's just like a light wood. I will link the exact wood that I picked down below. I ended up ordering a ton of different samples just to make sure that the shade was going to be exactly what I envisioned because there's so many very slight variations to the look that I got and I wanted to make sure it was perfect. So I got a ton of different colors just to solidify my choice. These planks were from the first box that I ordered. I think they're a little bit too gray. And then these were almost a little too warm. So these are the two ones I just opened. This is the first sample I got. This was the second, and these are the new ones. It's like so crazy similar. It's very difficult for me to make decisions. So I had to get every option possible before doing so. And then when we started doing the upstairs, this I was so excited for because since I've moved to LA, all of the apartments I lived in had carpet in the bedrooms. And I have always loved the look of a hardwood bedroom with a cute rug under the bed, just like so pretty. So I was very very excited for the upstairs to get done the hallway is almost complete full closet done my bedroom madness and my office and just I just love the way it came together and then my bedroom da, 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 da. yay and then the last thing for the floors were the stairs so the stairs were probably the grossest there's just so many disgusting stains in that carpet I is so gross. Say goodbye to these horribly stained carpets. Adios. See you. Like my whole upstairs is full carpet. I can't wait for it to go. Crazy. So I had a couple of options with the stairs. I could do a white front to the stairs, to the steps or whatever, or I could have it just all be wood. There was two different looks. So we're gonna have wood, but we're gonna do white risers. I think that's gonna look so pretty. I'm just so happy that ugly ass carpet is gone. Like the stains here were so horrible to look at. And I ended up going for the white front. I thought that looked really nice. I liked the contrast. And I also thought it was more modern. Dun, 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 dun. So I told you guys that I was doing the white risers. So happy with that. I think it really just ties in with everything that's happening here. Love the molding going up on both sides they're so much better like this just looks like a better more me home and the patio is the most recent thing that I did so a lot of things have happened over the last year to that patio the very first thing that needed to get done was obviously putting wood over the fence that was in the middle of me and our favorite neighbor if you don't know who I'm talking about just you can just scroll my channel I got a lot going on there is these done and then he has to finish this one he's almost done with that 
So that was urgent. That happened in March. Yeah, right before the pandemic hit. And that was a nightmare, but we got it done. The fence was put up and then we repainted the white wall underneath the fence. That's kind of where we left it for a while. But then once quarantine started, I started spending more time outside just to get some fresh air. And it started to really bother me how gross it was out there. Like the ground was really gross and chipping and the planters were just really dirty. And I, of course, wanted to make sure everything, like my outside and inside all kind of go together. The outside really wasn't matching. So I had my contractor build out a cement casing for the planters and it looks so good with the clean concrete. It's just so simple and I clean, I like it. And we also repainted the ground and then the fence that separates me from my next door neighbor, my like direct next door neighbor. Sadly, my pink tree out there, it, it did not, it had a, it had a problem. There was an issue with the ladders when my contractor was putting up the fence and it got stuck in the ladder and it, it ended up um, like falling and it, it was not good. So it unfortunately had to go. So I will be getting a replacement because it's like the prettiest thing ever. And then one other thing that I did, this isn't like anything really, this is not a real renovation. It was very much a DIY project. Actually, I've done two DIY projects. First of all, I did like tile where my fireplace is. It had matching granite to the granite countertops in the kitchen and it just didn't match the vibe anymore. So I found this like stick and peel tile from Target. I wanted to like stick this down to get an idea of what it would look like. That's gonna look cool. Okay, wait. And I just stuck it on and it looks pretty good. So I feel like it was a quick little fix and eventually I will do something to the fireplace. But for now, it really definitely works. And then the most, most, most recent thing that I DIY'd was I, well, I love black trim. I think it's beautiful on windows and doors. Just for fun, I like to check Zillow and all these other realtor sites because I just like to see what's on the market just to see like the value of my place in comparison to other places. And the black trim, it's just everywhere. I love the look of it. So I decided to DIY black trim everywhere. And so I did it in my kitchen first because it felt like a lower risk I'm super, super happy with it. It looks really clean. And now it's inspiring me to want to do these doors. And it looks amazing. I love it. I feel like it really totally changed the vibe in here. I feel like it looks so much more modern and new. And that's it. That's what I've done so far. So in the last year, I think I've actually made a lot of progress on my home. I love the way it looks. I fall more and more in love with it every single day, honestly. And I feel so lucky to live here and to have a home, especially in these times. I am very, very grateful. And I'm very grateful to be able to do more in this place. So yeah, next week I'm gonna start on my master bathroom and I will be sharing little bits on my vlog before I do like a full transformation video. So definitely subscribe to the vlog channel. I post there three times a week. So if you need content from people, like I, I'm posting it. Over there and that's kind of where we're at guys that's what my place looks like in the one year that I've lived here sorry it's not a full house tour but I hope this it gave you a little bit you know I'll of course bring you along on all of the other renovations I'm gonna be doing in here and I hope you will subscribe and follow along that is today's video guys I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys next Tuesday with the next one see ya